We'll wait till they get started and we'll give you all the competitors in the field. A little bit of wobbling at the line, but you'll see how they have to break in really quickly so that everyone can get over a barrier. You see the guys on the outside are actually having to slow down just so they can clear it. As the barrier only covers about three lanes of the track, but everyone navigates the first barrier well, and they're off. Give you your competitors in this one. Meta of Illinois, Jarima, Yesney, Spamer of Michigan, Haskett of Indiana, Pendergrast, of Iowa, Lewis of Penn State, Suda of Illinois, Fenner of Nebraska, Williams of Purdue, Meissner of Wisconsin, Gebhardt of Indiana, Carney and Taminga of Ohio State, Yuall of Iowa, Gohut Jackson and Wilkinson of Minnesota, Hare of Rutgers, Nibelink of Wisconsin, and Hancock of Michigan. Up and over our first water jump clean no trips and falls we do have an outside water pit here on this track sometimes we're used to seeing it on the inside so we notice here that the athletes started on the home stretch here right by the start finish line and with that outside water pit adds a little bit of distance each lap so just about seven laps and 15 or so meters on the billy hayes track and we've completed one lap Everyone's around cleanly so far. We can see Wilkinson and Gebhardt here moving right to the front. Wilkinson, Minnesota athlete, transfer from D3, Carlton. Gebhardt, a common name we've heard at Big Ten Championships with the, pin, the candy stripe shorts. Wilkinson, just a really smooth stride going into the hurdle. Athlete that's very pleasant to watch that form, just a really, really smooth runner. And runners that are that smooth tend to be a little smooth over the hurdles too, and he's pretty comfortable doing them. Wilkinson is currently sitting at second best in the NCAA right now. Last year at the Outdoor Championships, he finished eighth overall, earning his first first team All-American honors, along with his teammate Alec Baston, who was the Big Ten champion in this event last year. Wilkinson also on the podium there. And we can start to see we're early on in this race for sure, but we do have three athletes starting to make a little bit of a gap here. Wilkinson, Gebhardt, and Logan Meissner, freshman from Wisconsin, who's mixing it up at the front. And you know, we talked a little bit about it in the 400 hurdles, not wanting to run too slow. We actually, we tend to see that in, in the steeplechase too. The, the best steeplechasers, they don't want a, a slow race. They don't feel comfortable uh, when there's tons of bodies around them. They want to be moving relatively quick because you have to accelerate into the hurdles anyways. A little bit of a stumble there at the back. So one looks like someone from Illinois that went down. Pretty evenly spaced out here for these top three guys. That's Jack Spammer out of Brighton, Michigan, who's currently sitting in fourth place. He's got the third fastest time in the Big Ten coming into today. Recently, he just ran 8.52 at the Penn Relays, and his teammate, Caleb Jarima, who's new to the steeplechase, just ran his first steeple ever in just over nine minutes, also at the Penn Relays, is currently sitting in fifth. Plenty of laps to run here, though. Steeple, one of those events that really is wear and tear. You have to focus on truly being efficient and conserving energy in the early parts of this race here to ensure that once that fatigue starts to set in and you're still moving over barriers in the late stages of this race, that you don't make an error where the trail leg comes down on the hurdle, because know that that hurdle will not fall down with you. It is going to take you down, and it is going to hurt. And Wilkinson, the long stride out front. Meissner now makes his move off the water barrier. Down the home stretch once again, Gebhardt on the outside, Meissner on the inside. Meissner just one steeple under his belt so far in his young collegiate career. 
but no fear mixing it up with the best in the Big Ten. Indiana has a long history of really talented steeplechase athletes. With Andy Bayer and Deshaun Turner, Andrew Poor, all phenomenal athletes back from when I was in college. With Gebhardt trying to make a move into becoming one of those Indiana steeple greats. And in Andy Bayer made that move you know, just at the kind of in the post collegiate years was that miler 1500 runner that was always on the scene from starting really around his sophomore year and he's recently made his way back into the professional ranks after a couple of years retirement during COVID and after and has jumped back onto the scene recently. Wilkinson still leading the charge here. Really strong running here out in the front from Wilkinson. Sort of what we expected to see here. This time of 8.29.35. It's about 16 seconds faster than our next time so far run by the freshman Meisner out of Wisconsin. So far early in this season. Wilkinson with about a 40 meter lead here. What I really like here is you can tell he's attacking the hurdles. Nice bouncy stride here. Doing what he can to just make it comfortable now that it's almost just a time trial type of an effort. But as I mentioned, anything really can happen in the steeplechase. What's always you know interesting is that the way the steeple works is they attack each lap, and try and run pretty smooth and consistent pacing, but then we see a pretty significant change going into that last lap. We'll see if Wilkinson has something there. He did slow up a little bit the last two laps, but he also did that as the field started to drop off him. He didn't have anybody with him. So he's got a lap and change to go here. He's run 8.25 already this season. And all he's got to do is one more lap to get a Big Ten title. Matthew Wilkinson of Minnesota. Wilkinson so far out in front here. We can barely see any other athletes in the frame. Meisner out of Wisconsin has a slight advantage over Gebhardt of Indiana. Benjamin Nibbling out of Wisconsin has moved into fourth now. But Wilkinson's seven plus second lead here going into the final 250 meters. It's just gonna be Wilkinson against the clock. Wilkinson, one more water barrier. Got the flowing hair, long stride, kind of a Evan Jager-like approach to the steeplechase. And Wilkinson navigates the final water barrier, one more hurdle between here and the finish. And he's really turning it up a bit here. Really important for them to work on. Fast finish here, really going into these final barriers, but it's gonna be all Wilkinson. No one has contested him here. A pretty easy 838, if I've ever seen one, to improve on his finish from last year. That's the Big Ten champion. Matthew Wilkinson, your Big Ten champ in the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Second here a year ago. And that 838, a really strong performance as he celebrates with his teammate, Noah Kohut Jackson, who came through in fifth. Wilkinson won it, Meissner second, Gebhardt third. Nibblink of Wisconsin in fourth. There's Kohut Jackson celebrating with Wilkinson. The division three transfer from Carlton. We had a really strong season last year to move up the ranks in the Big Ten. And his teammate Alec Baston graduates and he takes over Minnesota, continuing their tradition of steeplers atop the podium at the Big Ten Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Yeah, Minnesota, Minnesota scores two there. Kohut Jackson, Noah, 
He takes fifth place. I don't know if you remember that last name. Sounds familiar. Abby Kohut Jackson. She's a former Big Ten champ in this event as well. I'm just going to make an assumption that they're brother and sister. 